It's June. Everybody loves to decorate with lemons for the summer, so I wanted to show you two ways that you can decorate with a little bit of lemons to bring some farmhouse summer vibe into your home. To start off, we are using this month's printable for channel membership. If you're interested in joining our channel membership, we'll drop the link below. It's $5 a month and it comes with a printable, a book chapter, two extra videos, some emojis, and great stuff. All the information is there. We'll also drop the link below explaining it. Even if you're not in the business, I would do join just for the printables because Zeb works really hard on them and he does them all. In digital watercolors, sometimes it's a digital print of something I've done, but it's usually themed around what we've got going on. So this month, it's lemons. Stay tuned after we finish this project and we'll show you how to style a dough bowl with lemons. To get started, we're using a 16 by 13 piece of plywood that Zeb has cut out and sanded down. We're using DIY in Little Black Dress, and this is just molding. You can use any style you want, and I cut it at 45s on the ends, just enough to go around where the picture is going to be so it doesn't have any exposed white on it. I actually didn't even measure this part. I just kind of eyeballed it, lined it up on the paper, and went with that. Well, let me measure it for people that actually measure things. The shorter pieces of wood are, is that 10 inches? Yeah, 10 inches. 10 inches and the longer pieces are 13. So 10 by 13. So on the back end of the boards, you're gonna wanna measure 10 by 13. So the inside of the 45 will be shorter than that. Yeah, and it's better to lay it out and check it against your picture and cut once than accidentally cut it too short. That can be annoying. <laughs> Inspiration for this piece came from Iron Orchid Designs. They've recently been showing us how to use IOD products to create a gallery wall. We love them and we sell their products at jamierayvintage.com and don't forget to check the link below to see their newest videos showing you how to use their products on plywood to make similar signage. DIY paint is all natural clay-based paint, sticks to almost anything, and this black in raw wood covers in one coat. So I don't want to get any wax where we're going to be putting this spray adhesive, however, on these, I'm gonna go ahead and wax them because if I don't, then I have to be super careful after they're all put together not to get it on the picture. So I'm just gonna clear wax them and then I'm gonna add a little bit of white wax. I'm clear waxing first because I want to be able to maneuver the white wax. If you put this white wax directly on here without clear waxing it first, the paint really soaks it up and it makes it hard to buff off and it will change the color more to like a gray instead of having the two tones. The clear wax just gives you a little bit of separation. Without waiting, I'm gonna wipe off the excess, leaving the white wax just down in the cracks. To mount the picture onto this board, we're just using 3M Super 77. It's a multi-purpose adhesive and it dries pretty quick. I'm gonna spray it on the back of the picture. It's out of cardstock, so it's fairly dur durable. You don't need a ton. That's enough there. Okay. That's gonna hold that on there really nice and when it's dry, that's not coming off of that board. So you could staple this on, but since we've already painted and waxed, I'm just gonna use glue and this will work really well. It's gonna adhere to the paint, the paint's adhered to the board. It already looks pretty good without this trim, just putting it on the mat. This is gonna really dress it up and make it look complete. I'm using Titebond 2 wood glue. Just a tiny bit of glue seep out underneath there. Wipe that off. All right, we'll let this sit in about an hour. It'll be ready to go. It'll take 24 hours to completely cure, but in an hour you can move it around and put it somewhere else if you don't want it sitting wherever you got it. So Zeb's in charge of the lemons. Yes. And we're gonna be styling this dough bowl. I get asked a lot about how to style them. I like to add greenery and then maybe some texture and some color. In this case, 
I'm using greenery from Ikea and Michaels. So we're gonna start by layering on these. They're called Smikia. Sure. I think all of their um, leafy greens like this are Smikias, so. So these lemons are actually pretty cool. They're plaster and they're really well made. They're kind of heavy. Yeah, they are $5 per container. I'm using five containers, so $25, a little spendy. However, they won't rot, so. Yeah, we'll have these for next year and the year after, and you know, it's, it's a decor investment. A decor, I'm glad that you're finally starting to see this. So I'm just layering on some more greenery. Some of it I actually just had lying around the house, but um, you wanna make sure that it's nice and full so it doesn't look Chintzy. So what are we doing? We just piling the lemons just up in the middle here? Don't worry about it. I'm gonna... Are you ready? No, I gotta add some flowers. How about now? Hold on, not just slow your roll. I like to weave it in in an organic fashion, but it also has to be even. So organic and even. Okay. okay. Now let me now the, now, I'm gonna now... hand them to you, and then you can place them where you want them. Now the lemons. Maybe. The containers are nice. We'll keep these so that we can put them back in as soon as summer's over. Yeah, and save them for the next season. It, this is great for decorating your home. Lemons are also really popular um, in my retail space. Anytime I put lemons in something in the summer, it usually sells. So if you have something decor-wise sitting around for a while, just put some lemons in it. And you can have some like thrown about, strewn about. This is a lot. Well, if you try to dump them, they just fall. Yeah, and they, they are plaster with like a plastic over it, and we already had some damage. We had a casualty. I tried to force one into the jar. Don't do, Don't it. do it. I feel like it's hiding Easter eggs almost. You know, just kind of scoop them down in there, drop one over here. Maybe the kids won't see it there. And then you'll find it next year, and it'll be gross. I love decorating with you. <laughs> I'm gonna need some more over there. Put some on that side, it's looking sparse. Two left. All right, hold on. This is like a full thing of lemons. Maybe they're too thick? Or are you loving no, it? No, I love the, I love the. All right, it's done. You could rearrange this a dozen times, and I might do it for my photo, but let's be honest, Jack is gonna touch these and juggle with them, so I'm not gonna be too precious about it, but I think it's fun. Why are you messing with my shot? <laughs> I was like, why are you slow moving up to me? So you could wink at the camera. <laughs> Now that the glue is dry, I'm just gonna come around. There's still some white wax left on my brush from the last time. So I'm just putting it on with the clear wax and smooshing it around. It's a very official term, smoosh. Our little framing project turned out great. If you want to get this printable, it's $5 a month to join our Jamie Ray Vintage membership group on YouTube. And you get the printable, two extra videos a month, plus a chapter of our live video and emojis and all kinds of fun stuff. Don't forget the emojis. Can't forget the emojis. They're the best part. When you comment in a live video, you can add your own Jamie Ray Vintage emojis. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to come up with a quick farmhouse Summer refresh for my dough bowl, and I've got a cute little sign I can throw by. What are you keep doing? Going, just keep talking. A cute little sign that I can throw by my front door. Be sure to go to jamierayvintage.com for the paint, waxes, and brushes that we use today. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. I feel like your dough bowl is now like a dough trough. Like it's just full. It's <laughs> fine. I like it. No, it looks good. It's cool. Better have too many than too little.
hit the subscribe button.